Hi YouTube. I just watched a video by the King of DIY, Joey, and I wanted to explain to you why I think he's wrong. Now, in the video, he does say some really good points about reusing filter media and uh, guns from other people's aquariums. Now, I know that a lot of you, when you're starting out, you don't have the ability to go and ask for that kind of thing from different people. People might live far away, you might not um, know anybody's got a fish tank, so what do you do? Well, Joey said that he just puts a cap full of ammonia in his aquariums. Now for you guys, you might be starting up aquariums that are 50 litres, you might be starting an aquarium that's 150 litres, you might be starting an aquarium that's 500 litres. A cap full is not how you measure ammonia. So in my previous videos about the tips for um, fish cycling, on there is a calculator and these calculators are online for you to work out exactly how much ammonia you need in your aquarium. Now it's quite simple, if you're going to be using a test kit, these test kits are quite accurate. So if you've got accuracy in your test kits, why aren't you going to accurately measure the ammonia that you're going to put in your tank? So if you're going to buy some ammonia, buy some pipettes, get the pipettes which have the amount of millilitres on them, so you can measure how much you're going to put into the aquarium. Now what you want to do is over 24 hours, the idea is you reduce three parts per million in your water column to zero ammonia and the same idea with the nitrite. So as it cycled towards the end, let's say four weeks or six weeks in, your aquarium will be capable of removing three parts per million of ammonia all the way down to nitrate at the end of the cycle in a 24 hour period. That's all you've got to do. So what you need to do is keep measuring your tank and keeping it at three parts per million every day on a 24 hour period. That's all that's needed. Now to do that, you use a calculator which can put in how much ammonia you've currently got in your tank and then how much ammonia, the percentage of ammonia that's in your liquid that you're putting in and how much water you've got and it will calculate how much in your water column you need to add. That's all you have to do. So I suggest you revisit some of the other fish cycling video tips if you can't get your whole self hold of that already cycled media. And maybe, Joey, you might want to change some of your um, advice to some of your viewers. Thanks for watching.